Welcome back, everyone, to the Defense of the Motherland campaign with me, Dwarf Pete. Um, we're in the last episode, we purged some elves, and we're in yet another coalition war. <laughs> okay, so I was looking at the Horde Cursed, and it's not gonna fire <laughs> yet again until we get above 10k, or have a monthly income of at least 150. So, I'm thinking... Uh, our game plan for this series, uh, before we go back to Orlazimus here, that is, um, is to try and speedrun, or not even speedrun it, but just form the Haras Dumancon. Not the Kara's Anchor, which we are more familiar with. Um, and that just requires ten uh, holds that are a core. So, looking around, there's some pretty easy pickings. There's Brickle Shkom Deer. There's Or uh, Hold Your Cad. There's Gore Vazenbrog. It doesn't stipulate that they have to be um, repaired or anything. And we also have the four here. And no, oh, man, these have been wrecked. <laughs> we demolished these. These used to have like 40 death. Um, so we have four here, and we just need to find. Three extra. We could also go up to Dur Vazatun if we could get there. Uh, probably not with 35 dev in the way. But three is our target. So, to accomplish that, we're first going to get out of this stinking war with Sala AF. And yeah, we'll just go from there. And we surprisingly have the money to do everything we want to. So we are going to go see if we can get lucky with a stack of wipe. And I'm debating whether to get another 10 cannons. I don't think it's necessary. Oh my goodness, Almdir's helping. Is he loyal? Oh. Oh, you'll love to see it. Someday I'll don't let him. He'll join him. And we won back our siege in 22 days. Okay, you'll love to see it. This is going to be a really simple uh, war then. Okay. So... I'm just going to get that fort back. We don't need... Oh, wow, look at that. 47%? Ooh, that is... That is painful for the AI. And we can finally get a government reform. Imagine that. So long. Um, do I care about money if I'm just gonna... No, I think I care about leader costs. Screw it. We're going off meta today. Okay, now I want you to rush Sarandor. Or actually just sell a Ellen. And we'll get uh, Gray's capital here. So this is only province? Maybe. Gives me a chance to finally clean some more borders. Hold up, that's... Oh, 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 that's another gold province. Are you hiding anything else by chance in the Deep Woods game? No, there's two gold provinces. Alright, I'll have to take that into consideration. <laughs> Hello, I like money. Oh, Saranvar's a, a vassal? Oh, neat. Uh, is it worth getting the next admin? Arguably not. No, I don't, I don't think I will. Um, in other news, I talked about this like two episodes ago, we can finally get alliances with Corvuria and Alanor. Speaking of Alanor, he's he's a god at fighting. He's just he's beating 
beaten up Yarnrick. Nice, and I get some free manpower. Thank you, game. And with any luck, we can get these elves finally to peace out. I don't really want anything other than clean borders, to be honest. Okay, there's Teal's capital. Maybe we can get a stack wipe on him. And you are now going to head for Virgil Skomdir itself. All of the forts in the forest fall. No, of course not. Okay. Take the gold province for... None a... Well, why didn't you just say so? What's this full state? Nice. Okay, and we can even get the full state. Perfect. Sounds good. Get on out of here. No, do not suggest demands. Perfect. See you later. And then... Oh, you won't get out. Only because he's got some troops running around in my land somewhere. That's a good fight. That isn't such a good fight. <laughs> no, thank you. That's a good fight, though. He moves fast. Okay, let's uh, get out of there before all my cannons disappear again. And we just gotta play whack-a-mole. Okay. Sure you don't want out, huh? Well, your loss. Okay. So they'll be stack wiped. Yep. Perfect. Clean borders are clean borders. Excellent. That is what I love to see. And now we're just fighting 1v1. Which shouldn't be too awful. All we have to take is a vertical scum deer, which is a level 4 for it. I yeah, will just blast it. So anyway, I start blasting. <laughs> and 44 days later, I got it. <laughs> I think I'll take Lob to let him see if I can bait him into Virkle Scum Deer. And yep, sure enough, there he is. Great Conqueror himself, sneaky get. And we will... Yeah, we need the manpower. And we can even get the next Miltuck. Though maybe that was a bad idea because it increases the combat width. There's Abdel Ludum. So we can do the old sneaky attack from both sides. And oh boy, the Maw hungers yet again. And perfect, I think we blindsided him in that cave. Tunnel. Excellent. 
That'll for sure hurt him. But in the meantime... Yes. We'll go for Shazstundir and Argardstun itself. Nice, and we even stack wiped them in our road stune itself. Come on, just win the battle, just win the battle. Okay, just win the hole, win the hole. And we need to get back to improving with the Corporia. Because I need that alliance to stop any notion of these. Of these dang AI rising up again. And since we're not going to be playing this campaign for too much longer, we might as well just take debt. <laughs> There's Argod Stoon. So whose leg do I have to hump to get out of this war? <sighs> no idea how that was a stack wipe, but we will roll with the punches game. I have your forts and you don't have mine. Thankfully, Almdir is still uh, attentive to us, though. Okay, time to wreck face. Get ready to die, AI. We're punishing you. No more cheaty McCheater face. Just die. Come on, win the battle. Yep. Yeah. Before they arrive. Excellent. When can I get there? On the 18th, and he can arrive on the 15th. No. Thank you. And he's gonna go try his luck at... Something. Alright, let's get a good siege general, then. On... You. 6 5 will do. Our heart student's still high. How? Oh, because it's coalition. You have to get above. Uh, right. Alright, our heart student. You just, you just keep doing your thing. Keep running around me. See what happens. As long as he can't win in a straight up fight. So we'll do my favorite, guerrilla tactics. Burn him down. To the ground. Alright, we lost that fort. That's A-OK. -okay. And flow enthusiasm. Get out. Gimme him. Uh, actually, I would go for Rickle Scum Deer, but... Maybe we can get Obdell Ludum back? No. Can wish, but it's fine. Mostly just want to get a long truce timer going. I believe that was like 160k casualties on our side. A fair amount. Oh, and we are done with wars for yet a little bit. Just a little bit.
<laughs> we're gonna follow that up with putting more forts in this forest. It will be mine. Mark my word. We will suppress all of these rolls. And oh my goodness, Skewer Drake is getting converted to the hunt. That is something you don't see every day. Okay. So there's that rebels dealt with. And let's put a fort there to control... Ah, gotta be able to... See in between the lines, there is one there. Difficult to see these rebel controlled provinces sometimes. Okay, so when does my truce with you end, is my question. On ends in 29. Excellent. And actually, finally, I'm out of this war. Please. Yes, kill oh my... Look at that! Gorgeous. And he's a powerful mage. Sign me up. A 4 11 3 8. <laughs> And you are poopy. Nice. Cool. Alright. Anybody else want to ally me? Well, um, gathering strength. <laughs> well, uh, try for Pearl's Edge, because he has a personal union over freaking Busalar of all people. We can actually get the next admin tech, and ooh, there is admin efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, we have none whole absolutism. <laughs> none whatsoever. Mostly because we are s Oh, really? Invasion forces locks me to a duchy, huh? Yeah, that's that's pretty significant. Okay, so can I fight anybody? Yes. Skewer Drake. Skewer Drake, Corvuria, no. I don't want to fight Corvuria. That would be most awkward. Uh, current a leg of all people. Well, that doesn't look like a good war. <laughs> He's almost up to date with uh, Miltech on us. Nah, he's still like four behind. Three. Three behind. Okay. So, current width is 32. We'll update this army we have now. And we could even seize if we wanted. No need to... Uh, actually, I'll point this out. I finally figured out how um, this event works. This one. <laughs> the rune link upkeep is maintained was the uh, trigger we were not satisfying. And all as it turns out, if I just read the description, <laughs> it's real simple. So, the rune link upkeep. 18, what does that actually mean? Oh, uh, this is the current development required in this province to maintain the rune link. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I feel kind of dumb that I didn't realize that. So, we will debit. Using points that we don't really have. Come back to it. Actually, let's get... These are some terrible advisors. <laughs> let's update the army.
Okay, and just a little bit of rebel busting to do. All my homies love rebel busting. And we can actually take the next uh, trade idea without going over, uh, without dipping into unbalanced research territory. Unbalanced research only uh, happens. Oh boy, our ruler is a expansionist. <laughs> when we're not geared up for that. Any chance could I go to war with you? Thirty. No. Well, a little bit of downtime doesn't hurt anybody. Um, while we are on the topic of downtime, I have been meaning to ask, what do you guys think of uh, mission trees? I guess, in general, how uh, finished or polished does a country have to be in order for you to play it? You know, I was kind of thinking in terms of uh, Obsidian Legion, we have pretty good uh, events in our decisions, and we come with the, the standard dwarf uh, decisions. But we also have a unique religion. The only thing we're really missing is a, uh, a mission set, which may or may not be um, coming in the next update. You never know. Speaking of which, uh, the day I, or the moment I'm recording this, the uh, new dev diary just came out for the next patch, which will include some significant uh, dwarf content, of all things. I definitely wasn't expecting that. We can turn off Move of Force March. That's costing us a lot. So I don't know if I'm... Yes! Yes! Thank you! Finally, Norburn died, and he got replaced by a terrible 3-2-1. Die! For all the trouble you've caused me, just die, old man. Not cool. Um, well, I'm, well, I'm not busy gloating about the death of an old man. Um, uh, I will probably put up a straw poll once we reach the end of this series, asking uh, just what kind of... Ooh, half race uh, discipline, yes. Uh, what kind of nation... Um, we should do next. Honestly, I'm kind of impartial to just doing dwarves again. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I would uh, maybe pick a nation that hasn't been covered on YouTube yet. And that's mostly just for you guys to be able to see the breadth and depth of uh, Anvenar content. And off the top of my head, I've got Wex on the list, Bjarnric on the list, and I think Maybe go ahead. I can't remember who was my third pick. There, there's quite a few nations that haven't been covered. Oh, probably a couple Lake Federation nations nobody's covered. And there is a a blue nation here I haven't seen that I've played before that's really cool. So, um, expect that straw poll at the end of the series. And I, I just kind of want to know people's general thoughts on whether... Uh, just what kind of level of... Uh, polish a nation has to be before you want to play it. Mods, we can't get that, huh? All because we don't have boats. WTF is a bow at. <laughs> Anybody else we can get? I'd love to get some allies. Blade Munches still exists? Oh, wow. A whole three dev. Nine! Good for them. Good for them. <laughs> we could maybe get Wex, not that they're that strong. Order Aldracia. Okay, no. Really, Corvaria? You don't wanna. Gosh, I hate AI sometimes. No, huh? Neutral attitude. Even though. What if I friendly you? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, though, we are going to get started with our war on Skewer Drake. 
You're fighting Harazold whom? Oh my goodness, you are fighting three separate wars. Wow. <laughs> Wait. How are you fighting? Oh, Harazold whom's uh, allied to Gorbarad. Oof, there is some politics going on now that we are not a part of. <laughs> Skewer Drake is in a war against Orlazma's deer? Oh, this just keeps getting more funny and funny. <laughs> Wait. If Skewer Drake conquers this province, which I think they will, then I don't have to fight Orlazma's deer, so I won't fight Skewer Drake right now. Gorvuria? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, still, still a pain in my tuckus, huh? You don't like that I don't have a navy. What a disappointment. Whatever, I'm just gonna hang out with my friend Almdir. And Abdel Ludum. Who thinks I'm a heretic. Ah, it is him. He who is the heretic. Oh, you took the one I wanted! <laughs> Dang it! What are you even gonna deal with that? You're a centaur, you can't... Well, I guess they are cave centaurs. Yeah, that's, that's true, they are cave centaurs. <laughs> oh, wait! We're almost done with the, the Mithril Arm Cartel. Let's get ready to pounce. Rawr. That way we can get another uh, truce going with Gorbara. Crack him for you literally had to just ally them, huh? <laughs> the hug box still continues. Well, I mean, okay. How annoying. AI loves to screw with you. Okay, so we got no professionalism. We can take out marks again. Not that I really want to do so, but I guess. <laughs> oh, wait, I can do the uh, the thing. Yes, do the thing. Pull the lever, Kronk. And let's see what's behind door number two. Alright, 18 doves, says it requires 18. Now we can click. The event Gifts of the Father happens. The will of the Father is absolute, and his will is that his children shall live their lives to serve him, his divine purpose, his blessed obsidian. Thus, through the might of the Father's empire, more resources shall be sent to aid us in our divine mission to fulfill his most holy of tasks. The only question that remains is what boon we shall ask of the Father, for the Father is generous and the Father is mighty. The Father is eternal. Uh, we shall ask his blessing, and that is enough. Uh, no, I, I want some money. We could get some armies to show the world his glory. Otherwise, his hero, which I'm guessing is like a general, to lead us to glorious death in his name. His rune workers to build monuments to his glory. His forgiveness for those slaves who seek redemption. I think, given that we need to conquer, like, oh, I don't know, another seven holds. Oh, wow, and we can even rebuild ancient rails. Okay, there's, there's a lot to do. Um, I think we need his armies to show the world his glory. And we'll even get to work with rebuilding old Dwarvar Rail. Which I will read. Yeah. The ancient empire of Al Dwara was unified and connected by the Dwarvar Highway, a prominent part of which was integrated rail along the Dwarven roads. And now we must rebuild it, province by province if we have to. Okay. 
and I believe I've read this one before, but, eh, why not? Screw it. Glorious be the will of the Father, for it is through his will and his will alone that we have succeeded in our divine purpose. The maw gapes ever wider, our link to his under-empire growing yet stronger. Yet more of his servants come to aid our holy reclamation of the surface. Yet more slaves travel beneath so as to earn his redemption. Such an enviable task they bear to spill their holy sweat and holy blood upon his ruins in service of his will. For now we must remain content to merely spill our sweat in toil and blood in battle. Such is the Father's plan, and show it shall be. The Maw hungers, and the Maw shall hunger still. Praise be the Father. The Rune Link has further stabilized. And okay, we need to immediately get into this war. Otherwise, these guys are going to form a... They're going to tell me I'm a smell. I smell. And I don't like being told I smell. So, let's go ahead and get that war declared. Oh, but he hasn't broken the trade relationship. My oh boy. You know the dangers that poses, huh? Well, we'll get some money just in case we need to fight. And I don't think he's going to do it. Neat. We'll I'll take the half price, a uh, discipline guy. Come on, fight me. <laughs> this is different. And now we've got the problem that we don't know where to send our merchants. I guess to the West Warbar. We've already kind of exhausted the nodes that we can get. But I think that's a good stopping point for today. And as always, thank you for uh, making it to the end of the video, and stay tuned for more.